I've just got back from Leaders Boot Camp number three with your inspiration at home. And today I'm inviting my beautiful friend from Bunbury WA, Dot Squire, to join me. Dot! Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Mwah. Nice to see you again. Welcome to my kitchen. Thank you. <laughs> mm, this looks good. So, today we're going to cook a dish that Chef Pete made for us at boot camp, which was a Sri Lankan coconut chicken salad with a gorgeous mango lime oil and coriander salsa. And we're going to serve that with a little bit of uh, Louisiana Creole with some yogurt on the side. Oh, I remember that. That was really, really mm -hmm. yummy. Great that you can remember how to do it. Also <laughs> not a bit difficult? No, nah, super easy. Oh, cool. Super, super easy. Looks complicated because we've got a lot of ingredients, okay. but it all comes together and with your plating skills, this is going to look amazing. <laughs> Thank you. So what can I do to help? All right. Well, we've got some beautiful organic chicken breast here. So Dot, if you could just cut them into some lovely tenderloins for me. Okay. Cool. This is our beautiful um, Sri Lankan coconut mix that we've got here. So in here, you've got a lot of beautiful Indian spices going on. Just have a smell of that dot. Oh, yummy. It doesn't Just... smell too, too bitter. It has that nice sweet flavor. Mm, it yeah. is lovely and sweet. We've got a little bit of chili in there, so it's not too hot. Um, but the coconut really makes this spice. It's just to die for. Absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to pop about a tablespoon and a half in the dish there. And to that, I'm going to add some beautiful lime oil. Bit of an addict, this one. It's just beautiful. So I'll pop that in there. So we've got the lovely chicken pieces there and we're just going to let this chicken get to know the flavours in there, give it a good massage, beautiful, Dot, feel free to chime in here okay, and great. get your hands dirty. <laughs> Texture feels good doesn't it? Texture's great, oh, that lime oil's just... Beautiful fragrance. Now, if I don't have lime oil, mm -hmm. can I use something else, Renee? Absolutely. Lime juice will work beautifully. Mm -hmm. um, or our lemon oil is oh, also oil. sensational. Yeah. That's what I was thinking mm. of was the lemon oil because, you know, sort of, I've got the lime, but sometimes you just want something a little bit different. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the lemon oil's got a bit more punch, I find. Mm -hmm. And the lime oil is a little more subtle. So that was perfect for one chicken breast, cut into little tenderloins. So that was roughly a tablespoon of Sri Lankan? About a tablespoon and a half there. Tablespoon I like lots of spice, lots of flavour, but yeah. if you're unsure about the heat, just go light. Um, build your flavour up over time. So we've got our grilled pan nice and hot there. Is this the Your Inspiration at Home grilled pan? Sure is. Oh, yeah. wow. I haven't got this and I wondered how it worked. That's great, it's not. Excellent. So you can get those lovely grill marks going on and it's Teflon, it's very easy to, to clean and if you can't be bothered starting up the barbecue, it's great just to have this um, on your hot plate at home. This smells beautiful. Mm, it's yeah. just divine. So we're going to start building the base for our salad here and I'm going to use one of our very cool little gadgets, the veggie twister. What I'm going to do first is grab a beautiful cucumber and I'm just going to line it up with this green piece here. So we've got just in line with the end of the tool and then just cut a nice flat end there. So we're working with that size there, okay? So we start with the lighter colour part of the tool and with the right size uh, cucumber here, we're just going to pop that onto the teeth and place it inside. Now we've got two um, cutting tools with this one. We've got the floralette or the scalloped end and that's really lovely for your soft vegetables. So your zucchini, your cucumber, you can even use it with carrot as well. It's very pretty. And look at that, we've got some beautiful little curls coming out there. Isn't that just beautiful? So the great thing about this is you can stop here, rip a bit off, start again, thank you Dot. 
And so you've got a lovely little filet mignon. You can just pop that there and wrap it around your filet mignon. Or a lovely crab salad mm. or, you know, you can build up and you've got this lovely texture to start with as a base. So, Dot, would you like to continue with that one? Yes, be true. The great thing about this, I reckon, too, is the littlies who don't want to eat vegetables, I tell all my girls at the parties that they can actually put this in the kids' lunch boxes. They take them to school and all the kids at school want what they've got. So it automatically makes them, oh no, it's my carrot, or it's my Absolutely. cucumber. Mm-hmm. So I'll show you the next shape. I've got this carrot, which we've cut to size. So you can use sweet potato or potato as well, turnips, um, anything that's a nice hard vegetable with this shape, as long as it's cut into a cylindrical shape. Just pop that on. So we twist away. Oh, cool. And we have... Spaghetti. Orange pasta. Oh, how pretty. So pretty, pretty, pretty. So you can just make a terrific mince mm -hmm. and then put this on and the kids think they're eating orange pasta. Absolutely. So just like what's on the pack there, you've got an example of some orange pasta. Look at that. That's amazing. Kids just love to play with their food. <laughs> and so if it's vegetables, <laughs> big kids as well. If it's vegetables, you know, why not? If it encourages them to eat more vegetables, why not? So now we're going to start building the base of our beautiful Sri Lankan coconut chicken salad. So Dot, we've yep. got a beautiful cos lettuce here. Oh. So I want you to get those beautiful sweet cos lettuce hearts out for me. And we'll use them to build a base on the plate. Right, so they're the ones in the middle, I'll just wash them for you. Yep, the nice beautiful ones. little ones that are nice and sweet and crunchy. Love it, <laughs> no problem. Okay, so we're going to make a little sauce to go on the side with this. With our beautiful Louisiana Creole. So the Louisiana Creole is definitely our hottest dip mix. Um, really beautiful, just to use simply with some Greek yogurt, or you can use it as a dip with some lovely sour cream and mayonnaise. Um, but for tonight, I'm just going to use a tablespoon with a cup of Greek yogurt. Now with these dip mixes, it's always great just to pop them in whatever liquid you're using, whether it's a cream cheese, yogurt or sour cream mayo base. Give them a nice mix. Make sure those spices are really, really intermingled there with your base. Now I love this Louisiana Creole with um, prawns. You can marinate them with some lime juice or our beautiful lime oil. Um, with some gorgeous prawns and then throw them on the barbie. Absolutely sensational. And do a beautiful beef hot pot with this as well. It's just one of those really versatile dip mixes that you can use with so many different things with your everyday cooking. So into the fridge for half an hour. Very important before you serve, just to make sure those flavors are nice and strong and you allow them to develop in the fridge. So, now we're going to look at our beautiful mango, lime oil and coriander salsa. So, we've got some mango that we've prepared earlier in cubes. And I've got my very special guest here from WA. So, Dot, steal a piece while you can, oh, while you're in thank Queensland. You. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. <laughs> Slippery little suckers oh, they God. are. Yum. Well worth it though. Mm. Oh, they're just divine. We're just at the end of our season here too, so you've come for a visit at just the right time. <laughs> so there's our mango, and we're going to get our beautiful lime oil again. So give that a lovely drizzle of lime oil. Mm. So fresh. Love, love, love that lime That's oil. Lovely. I'm addicted. Okay, and then some coriander. So, do you keep your herbs nice and fresh? Just keep them in a bit of water. And I'll just grab one munch there. Now, a lot of people, when they use coriander, they'll pick the leaves out and they'll throw away the root. But that's a very sad mistake some people make because a lot of the flavour actually comes from the root and a lot of Thai cooking, the, the coriander root is actually preferred over the leaf. So we're going to use it all. So I'll just okay, so you get rid of the rooty bit we'll there. We'll get rid of that <laughs> rooty bit. <laughs> 
and we're going to chop it all up. So you're using all the stem, everything? Yep, everything. Right. It all goes in. Nothing goes to waste. Asian philosophy, nothing goes to waste. Yeah, because I would have thrown the stems away. Oh, you don't. Look, mm. try a bit by itself. Okay. There's a lot of flavour in that stem. Mm. It's and nice it's a and different sweet, flavour. Yeah, different to the leaves. Yeah. Totally different. So I'll put a little bit of leaf and a little bit of stem in there and we'll save the rest of our leaves for presentation at the end. Okay. So just give that a quick mix. So we'll set that aside. Now Dot, you're quite famous for your plating skills okay. as we saw at boot camp. So Dot, I'm going to throw it over to you to start building the base for our beautiful coconut salad. Okay, well I've got a little tr treat that I like to use. Mm -hmm. and. You can buy it at you know, any department stores or you can make your own. We've got a beautiful caramelised balsamic, as you know, that we sell. Mm -hmm. um, and you can reduce it down or you can cheat a little bit. So this is called a caramelised balsamic glaze. Let's just do a little bit of a, a decal on the plate. You can do whatever you like, swirlies, whatever. Just do a little bit. Mm -hmm. it, it's totally up to yourself what you want to do. So the sillier it is, the better it looks. So what we've done is wash the lettuce leaves earlier on. So I'm going to sort of start and work forward because I like to sort of do it so that you can up and down it. And then just lay to the side. Might just swap that one over. Mm. So you can see it's just fanning it through. Then what I like to do is just put the other bits there and just keep a couple just to finish off, which are the very sweet, juicy ones. So that's all, we've just done a light fanning. All right, we'll just keep these little ones because we just need to finish it off. Okay. Okay, right. so we'll get rid of that. So now we're gonna build in some snow pea sprouts. So Dot, I'll leave this to you. You're the expert, you're the plating expert. <laughs> so again, just spread it through. Because what you're wanting to do is, is sort of give the, the height and the depth but you also want to spread it out on your plate. You can see the glaze is just peeking through, so if it looked a bit messy earlier on, you've actually got the little bits showing through. So we'll leave the bean sprout, the, the pea sprouts to one side just for a little bit later. And then we just want some little slices of capsicum. Okay. Or red pepper, as Colleen would say. Sorry? The Canadians, red pepper. So red pepper. I might just get you to trim that one up a little oh. bit. Oh, it's a bit thick. See, I told you she was good at presentation. She's pulling me up. So, <laughs> as you can see, I'm just sort of working down the plate, and then you can just sort of pop little bits and pieces, turn it over so that you're getting a look and a colour and a texture. Bring some more up to the top, so you're sort of you're showing your whole plate to the benefit. And then we've got our beautiful orange pasta and our swirly whirly cucumber. So we're just going to pop some of that right at the bottom. So it sits very messy on the plate. Very curly. Then the cucumber, we're going to plate through the middle of it. See, it's got nice... What we're doing is building up. Mm. All the time we're building up. Love it. All right. And then we've got some beautiful sprouts here. Now they're actually just in a little pot, so we'll just rip some bits off. Them off. It's got some watercress and some sprouts going on. So are we just dusting? Like just dusting, fairy dust? just fairy dust. Beautiful. So you can see we're building up, but you know, this is just such a simple, simple dish. Now, if you don't have these things at home, you can do other things, you know, just, just think a little bit outside the square. Mixture of textures and things like that, because what you're wanting to do is the eye appeal, the green, the brown, the orange. Absolutely. Okay, that's all done. So now we're going to add the chicken. Now they're, they're cooked earlier on, so what we're going to do is just lay them nicely on your plate. Mmm, yum. So you see I'm plating it down and around, so all the time all I'm doing is just sort of popping it in so that you've got that texture build up and we plop one in the middle and that will give you your height. Mm. So you can see it looks lovely. 
very appealing yeah. and you've got the nice staggered base. So just pop the lettuce in there just a few minutes so you get the, the, the fluting up. Love it. So they're the baby lettuce ones. Now what we need now is the Louisiana Creole. I'll just yep. grab that out of the yep. fridge. So that's been in there getting to know each other with the yogurt for about 30 minutes. Now Dot, what do you think? I'm thinking stripes of salsa and dots of Louisiana. Stripes and dots work Stripes and dots? Not a problem Okay, at all. let's do it. So here's our salsa. So you can see that the mango really picks up the Sri Lankan chicken. Beautiful. Bit, yeah. And these smells, I'm just getting hits of mango, hits of chilli, hits of coriander. It's just going to be sensational to tuck into this. I cannot wait. So the Creole, we're just going to dop at the sides. So we're just going to do a little bit there. And what's happening here is you've got that lovely Creole flavour that sits to one side. So if you've got a flavoursome person that comes along and goes, oh, I don't know whether I like this, and gives it a try and then they can come back for more. So I've just got a little bit of the coriander leaf to finish off and we'll sprinkle that from a height. And there we have it, folks, our beautiful Sri Lankan chicken salad with our gorgeous mango, coriander and lime oil salsa and a lovely little Louisiana Creole dipping sauce on the side. This is yum. I can remember Peter's, but I'm really looking forward to ours. I this can't will be wait. great. <laughs> Enjoy. Bon appetit. Ah. <laughs>